Tonight, this free crash course is being brought to you by LW Pharmacy School, and I am your host. I will definitely be with you as you ride this journey. Um, this is October free PTCB crash course. If you have not subscribed to the channel, if you haven't um, followed us on Facebook, please make sure you do that at LW Pharmacy School. We are there pretty much uh, every day dropping new tidbits and new tips to help you to succeed on your board exam. Okay, so some of you may have known or may not know that Pharmacy Technician Day is this October 2020 right which is next week and we are celebrating pharmacy technician day by um offering you all 20 percent off so right now all of our courses that are for pharmacy technician are completely 20 percent off you will want to take advantage of that particular tip or you know this sale as soon as you possibly can because we don't know how long this will be here we are celebrating pharmacy technician day um and i think it's really cool that we are in a career or an industry where we're celebrated um so many people i know friends who are cnas and medical assistants and things like that and they don't have a day that they're celebrated so i think it's really cool and neat that we are celebrated um inside of or you know as a pharmacy technician inside the industry um, our 15-week online pharmacy technician course is open for registration right now the next class will start november 2nd so if you are interested in learning more about that you can definitely register at lwpschool.com um, our four-week online refresher course is also 20 percent off that is a really great course for individuals who are studying to pass the board exam and may already have experience we definitely have it broken down and we have a agenda as to what you should be studying every day to keep you on track so if that's something that you are considering um i would definitely encourage you to do that with us because we are number one right now um, in regards to the way that our students pass we are so excited for just the great pass rate that we have um and so if you are interested in gaining your certification and getting this done before the holidays, because y'all know once Christmas and Thanksgiving come, whew, it is just going to be moving. Life just begins to move a lot quicker. So if you want to do that right before the holidays, you can. This is a great way to get some extra cash in your pockets. Let's jump into it. Okay, drug classification. I did want to give some information about drugs because I keep getting this question over and over and over and a lot of times i feel like even to you know when i was putting this content together i was like oh my god you know i feel like we're talking about the same thing which is good because repetition is what's going to help you to remember so that way you can pass this board exam which is why we have over 85 percent pass rate because our students are learning repetition over and over drug classification the easiest way to remember your drugs and i cannot say this enough is prefix infix and suffix Come on. If you can remember prefix, infix, and suffix, then you can pass this board exam and you can ace when it comes to these top 200 drugs. I want you to know that it's more important for you to remember the prefix, infix, and suffix than it is for you to be trying to study word for word, okay? We're gonna go into what prefix, infix, and suffix looks like inside of an actual drug name, okay? Um, but, Generic medications are non-proprietary names, brand names, is proprietary names, so on and so forth. I think you all are more than capable of reading that slide. Therapeutic agents for the nervous system. So anxiety, okay? Anxiety is a condition that affects the nervous system, okay? I think that anxiety is at its all-time high right now, not just because of COVID-19, but because of all of the access we have to computers and to social media and just every way that we as humans can be judged and it be on display. I think that that has definitely increased the anxiety for so many Americans um, and so many people just all around the world. Um, for the most part, the stem word for anxiety medication is ASPAM or A-Z-O-L-A-M. Okay. I am going to highlight the drugs that are very common, the ones that you're going to see on your board exam. 
Um, how do I know that you're going to see them on your board exam? Is because I work with students every day who've taken the board exam and I've been able to talk to them and they're like, hey, this is what I saw. This is what I did. This is what I learned. This is what I you know, was able to demonstrate on my exam. Uh, Parkinson's disease. Those drugs typically end in DOPA. If you look in the middle, that is a actual drug bottle with two um, drugs on there that is used to treat Parkinson's disease. And this is kind of going to be that combination drug, okay? And then depression, sertaline, which is also Zoloft, right? Um, sertaline and triptyline, they almost sound alike. Like they ended at L-I-N-E, um, you know, for at, towards the very end. One of the things that one of my students came up with, amitriptyline, which is that last suffix um she came up with something and she said um am i tripping and is the name of the drug is amitriptyline and so if you've been studying that drug and if you've seen it then you know what i'm talking about and she said something to the effect of am i tripping and so every time she saw amitriptyline she knew that it was used for depression um i mean you just have to come up with ways that make it fun so you can learn and so you can grow and so you can maintain and pass this board exam uh, therapeutic agents for the gastrointestinal system. By the way, if you have not liked, subscribed, and followed this channel, please make sure that you do that as soon as possible. Do that now so you can get notifications as to when I post new videos. I am going to be doing a lot more posting than I have been. COVID-19 is basically wrapping up in my mind, um, even though I know it's still in the, you know, in the country, but we are starting to see more sense of normalcy. So you'll be seeing me a lot more than you have been here lately. Um, so make sure you ring that bell as well. Therapeutic agents for gastrointestinal system. Histamine 2 antagonist, which is tidying, um, and then prazole, like omeprazole, um, Zantac, the brand name is Zantec. The generic name is Ranitidine. It's like R-A-N-D-I-T-I-D-E-N-E, -E, uh, which is that first suffix. That is going to be used to treat gastrointestinal. So you're talking heartburn. You're talking um, acid reflux, that sort of thing, which is really common, you know, um, now because so many people are, um, and I think it's what the, they're putting in the food and so on and so forth. So you'll see those a lot. Um, both of these drugs are over the counter. I do know that Zantac did have a little bit of a recall. Um, and so it may not be out right now, you know, in Walgreens, but definitely Prilosec, Omeprazole is there. Um, you'll see those side effects of these drugs. Now, I want you to know that I just didn't put the side effects of these two drugs. I put the side effects down of gastrointestinal system drugs, period. Yes, period. I did that because I want you to know that most drugs have pretty much the same side effects and they have a lot of things in common. Um, and so I put headache, nausea, and diarrhea. Now, did they have some other side effects of that that, you know, are not common? Yes, they did. But why try to remember the heart side effects instead of remembering the ones you already know? You already know what a headache is. You already know what nausea is. You already know what diarrhea is. It's easy to remember something that you're already familiar with. You can thank me later. Because that right there will take you to the bank and cash the check, Okay. Do what you're good at. Do what you know. Go with what you're already familiar with. Stop wrecking your brain trying to learn new things that, you know, are there, but you have familiar things that are there and you're constantly picking the new things because you're like, well, I don't want to make it too easy for myself and I want to make sure that I'm, you know, studying the way that they want me to study. No, you study the way that your brain can retain the information. You study the way that you can soak in the information so you can demonstrate it on the exam. That's what it's about. It is about passing this whole board exam. I keep telling people, look, let me tell you something. The same pass score that you get, whether it's a 1400 or a 15 something, it's, it's going to work the same way that the next person get who might have made a 1580 or whatever the highest score is that you can make on this exam. Okay, I believe it's like a 1600. You just need to pass this board exam and give it your all to get that passing score. Therapeutic agents for the renal system. So we're talking diuretics, thiazide diuretics, loop diuretics. I saw this question um, not too long ago on like a practice exam. 
Thiazide diuretics have the word thiazide at the end. Hydrochlorothiazide. Loop diuretics like furosemide, Lasix. Yes, Lindsay, can you help me? What can I do in order to pass this board exam? And I want you to know that you can get my help by registering for our online courses. Now, our pharmacy technician program and refresher course is actually in a place right now where it is 20% off. 20% um, off all pharmacy technician services. Um, and you can take advantage of that now. Pharmacy Technician Day is October 20th, 2020. We're also planning to do something very special.